Hi there, it's Shell, and it is Christmas Eve. So happy Christmas Eve to everyone. I am just playing with some watercolors right now. I'm cutting this down. About six by. Um, I need to make some Christmas cards so I can get them in the mail. <laughs> This is what? Nine. So four and a half. And I'm just kind of playing. Uh, I'm watching some of the Ellie Creamy Trends videos. And I thought we'd just kind of chat and paint. And just kind of have something for you guys to watch if you have time to watch something today. Hope you guys are having fun. We are using the Arches watercolor paper this time. I, um, this is pure cotton and that's not one I've ever used before. So I'm going to try to just use some of her, um, kind of ideas. I must have cut them down wrong. <laughs> Let's see if I can bring you guys closer. And sometimes she just has like just simple like greenery or something like that. So I'm just going to kind of copy that and just see um, how this paper acts. You know, see what I want to um, do with it and just see what happens. There's Clint. Hey guys. So yeah, she's just painting some greenery. And some red, red stuff. Let's see. And I will put that tutorial below if you're Thank interested you. and kind of following along. Mm -hmm. I thought we'd just chat and kind of Cat and paint. So, good idea. Isn't that a good idea? So we're not going to do a whole lot on Christmas Eve. We we're just, I think we're just going to celebrate Christmas. Sometimes we'll go to our friends or my sisters on Christmas Eve, but we don't have a lot going on or planned for that day. I'm just uh, using some greens here. And then I'm just going to kind of follow along with what she does. And she has her paper like this. Yeah, that would work. And I don't think I have enough water. Mm. And I'm just kind of, like I said, just kind of seeing how this page this card is going to work greenery and just kind of messing oh it does kind of pull really nicely which is something I'm not familiar with I usually use um, I usually use the cheaper stuff so this will be kind of fun to mess with and just kind of see what what I can do with it. I thought you said you were kicking my butt. I lied. <laughs> I'm like, Clint and I play um, words with friends. And so I was... <laughs> I played earlier and he wasn't looking. I told him, I'm kicking your bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not so much. <laughs> So now she's just doing like greenery, which is kind of uh, pine. I might not have the right brush, but <clears throat> like I said, I just kind of wanted to play and maybe make a few Christmas cards that I, you know, get a few in the mail for some, <coughs> some
some of my friends. Belated Christmas? Huh? Belated Christmas cards? Yeah. Unless they're close by, then it might not be belated. <laughs> if I mail them to like Dove Creek or something, it might be okay. But for the most part, yeah, if you're getting a Christmas card from me, it's going to most likely be belated. Let's see, I gotta set this up differently. But I haven't really been playing with um, my paints and stuff because I just felt like I had so much going on. And so I've just kind of been that's a bit too bright, too light. So I haven't really been playing with the stuff I wanted to, you know, kind of play with. And my watercoloring, you guys know I was, you know, that was one of the things I wanted to do is do some watercolor in the season. And yeah, it, these are supposed to be leaves. I don't even know if I'm using the same brush. I think I am though, but. Of course, she's a professional. I'm not. <laughs> That's why I thought this would be like the perfect one to um, practice on because it just has so much interest and stuff. Yeah. You know, just yeah, just little um, bits and pieces and. different little techniques and stuff but it's I can already tell you know a difference as far as the um, paper so that's kind of fun Yeah, so hopefully we're getting some snow. We should be. But I am doing this on Sunday. Just kind of be ahead of the game a little bit. And, you know, have something for you guys to, to watch if you had time to watch something. Hopefully we'll have something special, kind of something kind of fun for tomorrow going up. That's my plan, anyways. I'm trying to fix some of my leaves. <laughs> fix some of your what? Leaves. I think she was doing. I was doing it like in one stroke, and I think she was doing it in two strokes. So I think my leaves were a little bit off. So I'm just kind of, I kind of have her over here like on, um, like going, um, what am I thinking? Sorry, tab up beside her. Yeah, and going really, really slow. That's it, sorry. <clears throat> Can't think of what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so it's like, um. Just barely go and it's not it's like the slowest it can go so I can kind of just watch her and kind of copy her movements and just just kind of mess around and she has one like this it kind of looks like a greenery and stuff this is some um, brown that she's putting in here now. And I'm, I've noticed by watching several of her videos that she is, um, whenever she does the brown, she comes back and adds red. Hmm. Because for the berries, so it's like the stems for the berries. So I'm not sure what this is. can't 
see because her hand's in the way. <laughs> but yeah, we've had a fun few days, haven't we, honey? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Clint's been working on his covers, and they're so pretty. Let's see, she has some. Oops. Of course, like I said, she's a professional. I'm just kind of playing along, watching how, kind of hoping things work out right. <laughs> Good thing is with like things like this, it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, that's the whole point is you kind of want to kind of just play and, you know, put your foliage or whatever wherever you want. And just kind of... That was one reason I chose this one because I thought, you know, that'd be kind of fun. Let's see, now what is she doing? I don't know what that noise was. A cat somewhere. <laughs> she must be mixing color. But isn't that kind of coming together? It look, just looks fun. Oh, good. Can't tell what color she's using. Yeah, they're kind of up in the air how much snow we're going to get. Yeah, so. so by the time it starts, they'll get a better idea. Wouldn't that be nice? Too dry. Yeah, the one lady in Parker said that it was what, 65? No, 60. Something like that. In Parker, Colorado. Oh, one more. I know. I don't I'm not sure where that is, but is that up in the... You said that was by Denver, didn't you? Yeah, it's over by yeah. Denver. So it was kind of... Sister, what are you doing? But yeah, and that, like I said, this is Sunday, so hopefully everybody's getting, you know, really nice, nice weather now. And by nice, I mean wintry. <laughs> I've been wanting winter for a long time. Yep. forward a little bit. I think she's just adding, you know, just some different colors throughout just to kind of uh, give it some definition, dimension, that kind of thing.
Okay, now we're going to switch to our red berries. And I'm going to go with this one. I like the really red red. No, ma'am. Sophia's over there wanting, wanting to come over here, but not a good time when you got your watercolors out. Who's that, Bubby? Mm -hmm. That's funny, he's been coming up more often. Oh, yeah. Mm So when I'm doing my berries, I'm kind of just trying to leave a little bit of a white space. That way they kind of look um, like it's got a little bit of um, shadow on it. Or not shadow, but reflection. Yeah, that's the word. That's kind of fun. Then I'm going to go in with a little bit of a darker color and kind of add, just touch each one of the berries, add a little bit of shadow, a little bit of change to it, I think it's too wet. Maybe mine isn't that bright dark. Just give it some more interest. Oh, I didn't tell you the news. What, baby? You know that little chicken we got? Yeah. Guess what it started doing today. Crowin? Yep. Are you kidding? I could have swore that was a hen. It <laughs> sure doesn't look nothing like a rooster, that's for sure. Oh no, are you serious? Yeah. I was thinking, what else would it be doing? believe that. Yeah. That's a big bummer. <laughs> well, yeah, and I wouldn't think that it would be, um, you know, just doing it to do it, would you? Hens have been known to crow, but I just don't think Well, so. as many hens as we have, <coughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I think <laughs> That's not good. Darn it. I know what uh, oh I was all like oh no, seriously, I was such a bummer. That is a bummer. <laughs> so I guess our little hen that we thought it's a male. It doesn't even yeah, it doesn't have a comb really or anything. No. It doesn't. Like the dad does. no. Yeah. But, yeah. 
Aw, that's a bummer. Yeah, we always hope for um, um, hens whenever we have the babies, you know. Yeah, so this one isn't. And it's so, such a pretty little chicken, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's really pretty. Really? fun when if you're not around chickens they have the, when they learn to crow it's absolutely hysterical and I thought boy that don't sound like a mature chicken yes it does they are so funny and I thought when well, they first start crowing yeah I thought well we only have one immature chicken so oh that is such a bummer <laughs> And it was definitely. Oh, I it, watched huh? him do it actually. Oh, did you? Yeah. <clears throat> sure did. Oh, that's too bad. Because we were really hoping it was. Yeah. So now we're, she's adding some. Just kind of some different color. So I'm not sure what she used, but I just kind of greened up a little bit of yellow just to kind of add, you know, something in. And then I'm just filling up a few of these empty spots. <laughs> kind of all over your hands, isn't it? Oh, you did? Clint's eating some more of the. You have okay, to be careful yeah. because it kind of. Um, the smoke really bothers him. <clears throat> no, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, no, no. I bet. Okay, okay, there you go. Coming out. Oh, sorry, the cat's got active all of a sudden. <laughs> it's kind of late though. It's 4:30, so they're kind of kind of thinking, Mama, Daddy. Let's see. So yeah, she just kind of goes in and adds, you know, just wherever. It feels like she needs a lighter color. <clears throat> and then what color is that? Oh, it looks like it's dark, like a dark gray. I think it looks okay. You know, like I said, I was just kind of, thought I'd put these on for you guys and just get a little interest. And see how this paper, you know, is going to work and stuff. Because this is the one that they really recommend when you're watercoloring, or at least that's what I've noticed. And let's see, she has some right here. And I've had it, but I haven't really used it too much. Well, I haven't used it at all, actually. And I thought, I want to start using that paper. Jazzy, don't chew on my glasses. <laughs> Jazzy, <laughs> let go of them. <laughs> They're all... Are you coming back over here for reals? Uh, yeah. Jazzy, what are you doing now? I steal your straw. Can't have mama straw, baby. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> Kitty print right in the middle. 
it wasn't, but it, it could have been. <laughs> My uh, yellow green stuff is still a little bit wet. <laughs> oh, she's so funny. Ow! What are you doing? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I don't want to give her a kiss. No. Okay. Give me your mommy kiss on you. Mommy kiss on you. Cutie. Look at that cute face. Can you see that cute face? She's got snot on her nose. Got snot on her nose. Yeah, you do. Yes, mommy's got a funny tissue. Yeah. She's got a tissue issue. She has an issue with right her right tissue. Right <laughs> Here, you can have this. Oh. <laughs> okay, bye. She's like, I'm done, Daddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See if she makes it back up here or not. A little stinker. Let's see. You have to clean Sammy's nose and that little stinker would steal the paper cap the tissues. He would. It was so funny because he would be like, uh, I don't think so. So now what I'm doing is just kind of going through and seeing what I need to do to mine. See if it needs. Yeah, Sammy would. He'd steal those tissues, he'd shove them in his mouth, and then he'd look at you. And Clint would be like, what are you doing? And then he would run away and want Clint to chase him. <laughs> that funny. Yep. Yarn heaps. Because he, he, he has allergies, and I think that's what little girl has too. But it's just like from um, being outside or whatever. Yeah, I don't know if this came together as well as I... I know it didn't come together near as well as hers did. <laughs> <laughs> but you know you live you learn and you practice I think I see a place where I want another and that's what you know makes all the difference is just kind of Mine's all cattywampus. I didn't really have an idea. It was just kind of like, oh, let's just do this and, you know, just kind of play and see what we can, how it turns out at the end. Because I didn't really know what she was going to do. It's been a while since I watched this video. So now I'm just kind of adding just a little bit of color here and there, just to, you know, kind of maybe bring it together. Let's see, I think I want to add a little bit more. That seems to be kind of what she keeps doing is she just kind of goes over it and kind of um, almost like glazing or whatever, where it's, you know, you're going back on top of some of them. Kind of make them stand out better, better. Now, if you wanted to do watercolors, you could certainly kind of play and, mm. you know, make them work into your junk journal, you know, whatever you wanted to do. That's my plan in the future. Kind of make, you know, journaling cards or something and kind of do them in the, in the uh, future. Just do different ones. I think I see a couple more places I want to add couple leaves or something like here and maybe like this just 
just to add just a little color. That's what's fun with these tutorials is you can, you know, do your thing. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to follow them specifically. It's kind of like do your, you do you, I guess, is what people say, huh? Hun? You make it yours. So I'm going to call this good and let's move on to another one. I'll be right back. Okay, so these are going to be really simple cards. I just chose another really simple tutorial from um, Ellen Crimmy Trent. And I will put the link below. So she is, I don't want that one. <laughs> That's funny. Sorry, I'm just kind of, okay. Okay. <clears throat> so this one, we're just going to choose some Christmas colors, and we're just going to kind of draw across. I don't really have the line brush that she has. Probably do, but... Just a simple card. And then I'm just going to change to some of these other colors, just Christmas colors. Do a space. And can I put this one maybe a little bit thinner? This is just one she calls uh, Easy Card Tutorials. Let's do like this olive green. Can I do it a little bit thicker? And I'm not too worried about it being straight. You know, um, across. It's just going to be a fun card. And then let's do a red. Which one do I want to use? Yeah, let's use this one. It's kind of a pink fuchsia. It's called Quinacridone Rose. Yeah, she uses like a straight brush. This is just a round brush that I've been using. Actually, I think I want to straighten that one side a little bit. And then I'm going to skip like a good inch and a half or so. Then we'll move up to like this really dark color, which is Crimson, Crimson Lake. So like right here. Kind of am going in the, she actually did like red, green, red, green, or something like that. So I might do green after this one just to kind of bring in some of that green from the top. Do what, baby? Melon phone person. Melon phone. Smell. Foam. Couldn't figure out what you were saying. I put up those um, foam pieces, and I was doing them on the heater, and 
I know at least one of them fell in the heater, so might start smelling like foam, like cooking foam. I thought he was like smell a foam, like smell a vision or something. No, no ma'am. What are you doing now? Should I get her a uh, paw, print. paw print? Step, step right there. Boop. <laughs> Now mommy got to wash it off, huh? <laughs> She's like, yay, mommy. Mommy, you want to step on it? Just step all over it. See if mommy cares. Jazzy Lynn paw print. Brat. Let's see if she's got a lot on her. She's got a lot on her. Now i got to figure out how to wash it off. <laughs> okay, mommy. Nope, nope, nope. Mommy, clean it. Let mommy clean it. Woo! That's so. Okay. Yeah. It wasn't bad, and I don't think it's one of those <laughs> colors that. But look, we got Jazzy Land's paw print right there. <laughs> it's all cleaned off now, I think. Where is she? Oh, I tell you guys. Okay, let's do a small one here. Maybe she won't come up since I used water. But I didn't spray it directly on her. I sprayed no. it on the... She's done coming up, maybe? Oh, good. Yeah, when I was learning how to do... Um, was studying how to do watercolors and stuff you know um, the lesson I took was talking about how especially like some of the yellow ones and stuff or the might have been yellow ochre or burnt umber they're poisonous to cats you really have to be careful there was no cats harmed in this watercolor experiment I kind of like the paper. I don't know if, you know, how much it's going to take to get used to. Because you'll have to, you know, kind of I don't know. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> kind of um, put the I forgot. See how fast it dries, that kind of thing. And like adding color, like let's add some of this darker and some of the gray. I'm not even watching what she's doing. <laughs> you can see if it, you know, kind of bleeds into the kind of adds a little bit of shadow. Kind of highlight it for Jazzy Lynn. Or if it was too wet. Bless you, Jazzy. Is that Jazzy? No, it's Lily. Oh, bless, bless you, Lily. Everybody's got a cold. Uh, Chloe was sneezing earlier. Bless you. Yeah. I think I'm going to add just a little color here. That's the fun part. Yeah, she was sneezing last night. So there's little Jazzy Lynn's paw print. That one might have to go to Grandma, you think? What do you think, Grandma? <laughs> then I'll let that dry, and then we'll put a saying in the middle of it, like Merry Christmas or something. I'm not sure I could do that. Could I do that with the uh, ink? I'm not sure. I could try it. If it doesn't look good, we can say, oh, the kid did that. I don't think this is a round one. Let's try it and see if I can write just Merry Christmas. No 
nervous. <laughs> she wrote Mary and Bright, but she used a um, marker. Okay, let's see if I can do Mary. Yes, Daddy. Come here. What's wrong? Uh -huh. Um, let me change to this other brush. I think it still might be too big. I didn't take out a little one. Let me grab a smaller. I have to put up my brushes because we do have the cats and so they will um, try to chew on them so my brushes go in a enclosed or a closed up container So let's try this one. This is a three round. Try not to smear anything. Now, I don't know if I can put Christmas on here. <laughs> Let's put Mary and Bright like she did, because I think I can fit that. Not my best handwriting. G-H-T. Right. I will put a heart. There we go. Jazzy Lynn. Looks like Jazzy Lynn wrote it, but that's okay. <laughs> hey, I got two cards made. Okay, do we want to do, we have time for one more, right? Right. Okay. Let's see if I can find another fairly simple one. Jazzy, yeah, don't get your head stuck in there. But Daddy, I want my head stuck in there. She has some really cute um, critters and stuff in this one. And her um, things right now, like I did a penguin the other day. And then I just saw a new one that's like in a envelope. That one looks really fun. So I think I'm gonna make <coughs> just one of these cards that she's doing. Once I make sure that I know what she did. Oh, she did, did a, she drew a circle. If I don't draw a circle, it will not be circular. That gonna be too big. Okay, we'll do that. And then she has like a little square up here. Um, what brush is she using? So I think all she's doing is going around in. What? 
Oh, she's doing the kissing ball. Let's do the other one. This one she does like a little kissing ball and then she does a wreath. I wanted to do the wreath. What? Okay. What? She looking at you? Yeah. As far as I can tell. She's using a teeny one. As far as I can tell. Was she really? Good. Doing her stuff. That's kind of cute, huh? Is that her? Mm -hmm. So cute. She's playing with her straw. Mm -hmm. So this one, it has a ball, and then what she did is she put like a J on the side, but I think mine's too big. So I think I'm just going to do a wreath and not, I don't think I have to have, you know, the, um, the joy or anything like that. Just do a wreath I think will be really cute. But yeah, I have not got any of my um, things out. Have I, Daddy? Christmas cards. Yeah. Got all my gifts done that needed to go out, but mainly because I, um, you know, ordered them online. <laughs> so everybody's has been delivered. So far it's looking pretty cute. Oh, somebody's cleaning. You okay? Mm -hmm. You okay? Mm -hmm. So if nothing else, I've gotten a lot of exercise. <laughs> 
in today's project, huh? you know, trying to copy where she's done her flowers and leaves and stuff. I think mine's a little bit darker than what she Looking kind of cute. You okay? Oh. I think mine's a little bit bigger than hers, of course, and so I'm having a little bit more room to fill up. So it looks like a circle. <laughs> it's always a good thing. It kind of looks like what you intended it to be, you know. Too dry. Is it okay? Uh -huh. Well, that's good that you heard it. You know what? Mm -hmm. Give me that straw, you little turd. Is she playing, or is it Bubba? No, it's Jazzy. Jazzy. She does, but I need help. <laughs> I was trimming cubbies earlier, and he didn't have a problem with it, but boy, I she was uh, up there too. So I reached over to do hers. She's like, I don't think so, Mama. Just ain't gonna happen. Yeah, so I have to have help with her. The other ones, pretty much Chloe needs hers done again. Yeah. And she's one that Clint has to put on his coat to trim her nails. We have eight inside cats now. Well, and hers are really, yeah. And it's hard to get her to 
Yeah, Clint has to really snuggle, but seriously, I snuggle put on with my her. Winter coat. Something that's really thick. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just not a good day. <laughs> of course, it's never a good day to do her nails, huh? Well, we haven't heard from anyone. That one guy or who? the oh, one that who, one okay yeah, that. that we were trying to. Maybe he's just one the bed or something. I don't know. What do you guys think of this? Isn't this pretty? I think this is my favorite. I like that. Out of all the, you know, the three that we've done. You only need a couple colors, so if you have like a one of those children sets or something, then you could um, certainly you know use that or whatever too. She's doing something else. I was just kind of see. I kind of think it looks nice. I could put a little bit of red, maybe a couple more red ones right here. Just a couple, maybe. And it's a little too watery. Maybe another one here. I think that looks so cute. Let's see, she's doing itty bitty stems now. Let's see. So, just adding another, um, bit of interest like here and then just kind of kind of little bitty flowers or not flowers but leaves there maybe here Just kind of wherever I think that she felt was kind of an empty spot, kind of add a little bit more interest. Maybe one right there. But yeah, if you've never watched Ellen Cremie Trent, which is her name, if you've never watched her, I um, suggest you go watch her because she is amazing. She's been doing this for many years, and I think she's fairly new to YouTube because when I started watching her, she had less than 2,000, and within a week, I mean weekly, daily, she was getting over 1,000 subscribers. So it was kind of, I'm using my uh, gold, but man, she, people were in love with her. She's amazing. I'm using my fine tech colors for my gold. And that's what she did is she kind of used, well, she's using red here, but she put a J on this side and a Y on this side, but I don't have enough room. So... We are just going to make a wreath. And of course, I made a ball. <laughs> Looks like a ball topper because I forgot I fast forwarded it. Fast forwarded. That's okay. I could do a ribbon or something. Maybe I'll do a ribbon. <laughs> now it looks goofy. Okay. I'm just remembering what I learned from um, what's her name Lindsay about how to you know make a bow 
can't believe I didn't think about that being a <laughs> be kind of underneath that part, huh? And Lindsay is the frugal crafter. She has some beautiful things as well that I've been... The purple-nosed reindeer comes to mind. <laughs> there, I fixed it. Kind of have a little... Kind of like a little bit bow, huh? Let's put this down just a little bit. And so it kind of went behind those instead of in front. Then I'll go ahead and just add a little shadow. It's really dark. It's too much water. fix that right I mean it's just a card so I don't have to stress out too much but I still want it to look you know somewhat decent not Okay, that's as good as it's going to get. It doesn't look too bad on camera. What do you guys think? Is it horrible? Let me sign it. I'm trying to teach myself to write with my uh, paintbrush. There we go. Oh, I should sign those other ones, too, while I'm at it. So, we got that one. So, we have one. Uh, you know what? I don't feel like it's done right there. So, sorry, I looked in the camera, and it just doesn't look quite complete right here. So, let's add, like, a little flower or leaves again. Maybe. Another little set. Like over here. It felt like it was an empty spot when I looked into the camera. There we go. I like it. That one's really cute. I think I saved it okay since I put the uh, <laughs> uh, ball topper on it instead of the... So I think that looks okay. Let's look at the other ones. Merry and Bright. Sign my name real quick. I'm not sure anyone would want this, but you never know. Gotta practice, right? That was easy. That one was simple. And we have a special Jazzy Lynn toe print. And then this one. Where am I going to sign that at? Oh, I could sign it right here. Not too bad, and if I decide not to send them, I'll put them in my book, you know, to remind me of my practice sessions when I started practicing again. So, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a Merry Christmas Eve, and you'll have to let me know which one you like the best. This is my favorite. I really like how it turned out. Even with the bow, I think it just kind of made it. So, anyways... Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video. Talk to you soon. Bye.